When we moved to Japan over eight years ago, we knew we wanted our kids to grow up bilingual, feeling as much at ease in English as they do in Japanese. So we put them into the Japanese school system from the start. However, this year, as elementary school graduation approached, so did a big choice. Do we change over to an international or English speaking school to prepare them for college in the States or let them continue in Japanese middle school? If you know about Japanese school culture, you know that it begins super laid back in kindergarten and then gets more and more intense as students move towards junior high and high school. The goal of the system is to produce students who will become shakaijin, or contributing members of society. But how does that work for international families who have feet in multiple worlds? Here we go. Let's go. So girls, everyone wants to know. Are you doing bukatsu? No. 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 You had a choice, right? This summer, we wanted to go on a big trip. But if we did that... We won't tell you where. We won't tell you where just yet. You'll have to wait and see, right? Yep. But if we did the big trip, then we couldn't do bukatsu, so we let you girls choose, huh? And you chose... To go on the big trip. To go on the big trip. So, did you have an awesome time at the Undokai? The, yeah. the taiku site? Yep. I got a trophy. Awesome. Oh, it's I like the much. it's the Owen Gasson. Gasson. I got four yeah. trophies. What does it mean? Wait, that means I won the Owen. Yeah. <laughs> and you did too, Anna. I you got, got four. She, she got four like papers. Oh, papers. nice. Like, like that, that she won like the thingies. We've had this for a while and I've done nothing with it. Oh, that would be very cool. Like that. I think so. It's the Little Rider kids. It's our turn to go to school, huh? Here they come. Say bye, Mama Chan. Love bye, you. Baby. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. All right. And wait, I want to sell everybody. Oh, yes. Your pet lizard, huh? Me. Pet lizard. Wow. Does he have a name? Uh, sometimes I call him Lizzie. Lizzie? Well, that's cool. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Oh, fun. And there's his little home. Okay, let's keep going. We don't want to be late to school. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. What is going on there? <laughs> what are you practicing for now? Uh, in no kai. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? How about you, Joshua? Did you start Ungokai practice? Yep. You did? It was for the dance. Japanese schools have been great for our kids, and even though we all work hard to bridge the language and cultural barrier, it helps us to be more connected to our local community. But not all of it is perfect for international families, especially when your lifestyle requires more flexibility than is typically offered in the school system. We're living here in Japan, our kids go to school. Bukatsu is a big part of school life. It's not required, but it fills up their after school time, it fills up their weekends, and it fills up all their vacations. And that for us just didn't work well because as an international family, we have lots of trips that we need to take. There's lots of things we need to do. So the girls decided not to do Bukatsu because they want to go with us on these trips. How was school today, guys? Homework? Homework makes the dream work? Ne? Nah. Didn't you say that in the last episode? <laughs> Homework makes the dream work. Homework makes me sad. Uh, makes you sad? Homework makes you smart. A bit of sorrow now for a lifetime of joy. Preach it, Dad. I want a bomb Oh, Joshua. Sa. That was your hiragana of the day? Way to roll, dude. Way to roll. I know, Anna has beautiful handwriting. Oh boy. There it is. It's going up. Better. Oh, yeah. 
That looks fantastic. We finally did something. Now there's still space for the gold plaque. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A million subscribers, here we go. <laughs> You're right. Aren't like, those super pretty? There's some flowers, tiny birches. Yeah. Okay, let's get a picture. Yeah. There's two mosquitoes by me. Ah! We got some good pictures though. Okay, let's go. Choosing the right learning environment for your children is an important decision, and at this point, we are glad we have our kids at the local Japanese schools. But our older kids in junior high are now at a stage where they may need to switch over to an English-based education in order to prepare them for their future. But the choice is not an easy one. Honestly, we've been surprised by how good the local schools have been for them, and it makes the decision that much harder. When you're on this bridge, it crosses over to Tokyo. This side over here, this side over here, that's Tokyo. So the half of the bridge? Yeah. The hazard bridge is nowhere. The yeah, there's a plaque bridge. on the bridge that shows you where it starts. I found it, I found it, I found it. You found it, Sarah? Yes. Here. Blah, blah, blah. This one side is Tokyo. And this you should know, this is where we live. Kanagawa. Kanagawa. Uh, ne. We call it Kanagawa. So Anna, we went from doing a finger to doing a whole hand, huh? Yep. My goodness. I see giraffes and pandas here. You have been busy, huh? Yep. What are you guys doing here today? Is it, we're, we're putting on glowing stars in our room and it's going to be so like in specs. Okay. Ready? Three. Space. One, go, space. Whoa. <laughs> Stop. I'm not good at Wow, look at this in here. What? what? I want to see the view, Mr. Dream. You want to see the view? <laughs> so oh. funny. Does that look like a happy face? Yeah, is that your face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys use so many stickers. Okay, you gonna turn it on? Three, two, done! <laughs> Whoa! That was so funny. That was cool, guys. Very cool. So, Anna. Uh -huh. Did you finish your hand? The okay. drawing of your hand? You gonna get an A? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get an A, but I don't know if I'm gonna get an A model. Oh, yeah. I, I hope I get an A. Yeah, so she's gonna get definitely an A. Oh, yeah, awesome. Because I did, I did it better than that guy. <laughs> you really went for it. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, we're on our way to meet with another YouTuber. This is really fun. We're gonna meet Takashi from Japan. He's got a fun channel and he asked us to do an interview, so we were happy to meet up with him. Oh, that's Yay! Hello, Takashi! <laughs> Today, we're gonna do an interview with Takashi-san. Yeah. Very fun. I'm really excited. Yes, I am too. Thanks for inviting us out here. Okay. All right, we're getting all set up. Yeah, right? Takashi, he's got good taste in cameras. Thanks. He's using a Sony camera. I'm yes. Seven C. Oh, yes, very good. Sony camera right here, too. This is really good friends. If you've been in a multicultural school situation, please let us know what your experience was like in the comments. Good? Bad? Ugly? Would you have done things differently? And please don't forget to subscribe. It's still one of the absolute best ways to show your support, and it only takes a moment to do.